Today we are meal prepping burritos, and I promise you guys, this is gonna be one of the easiest things you've ever done. This technique is simple. We'll be making three different types of burritos, one for breakfast, one for lunch, and one for dinner. Each of them will be unique, flavorful, tasty, and not only healthy, but high in protein. This will make it so easy that all you gotta do is grab them out of the freezer, pop them in the oven real quick, or throw them in the microwave, and you are ready to go. No assembly required. I promise you guys, this is gonna be incredible. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel we are here in my kitchen yet again in the lovely houston texas it's beautiful out there today baby can't lose when that sun's shining like this you guys are ready to get this epic burrito meal prep video underway then as always i'm here to cook for you let's do it yeah What is the most important meal of the day? Breakfast. Actually, some studies have shown it's not, but for the sake of this video, it is. So let's start with making our seven breakfast burritos for every day of the week. Let's go. Can't have a burrito without a tortilla. For these, we are gonna use the flour tortillas from Mission, burrito style and super soft. They're about a dollar more a pack, but it's worth it. Buy good quality tortillas because you're gonna be eating a lot of them. We're gonna go ahead and lay out our seven tortillas like so. You got a big countertop, this is pretty easy. Six and seven. It wouldn't be a breakfast burrito without eggs. And for some of you fitness fanatics out there, egg whites too. Keep in mind the exact ingredients I do, you can shape this however you wanna do it, but I'm doing it to fit my macros behind protein and be healthy. So I will be weighing out the eggs for each of these burritos just to make sure I know 100% what I'm putting in my body. Right now that's crucial because I'm on a shred. Each one gets two large eggs, boom and boom, along with 138 grams of liquid egg whites. Gonna add a ton of protein to these and really help us hit our macros and also make them more filling. 138, I'm actually using three bowls here to speed this process up. Like I said, if you don't care that much, you don't, you can put it all in one bowl. It's really gonna average out at the end of the week anyways, but I'm just being super meticulous because I'm into this type of goofy shit. And got him. And we're gonna keep the seasoning real basic. Just a little bit of pepper and a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. Nothing too fancy. Now I'm gonna go through and cook each of my bowls and take them to my burritos. Hit this with a little nonstick cook spray. Well, bam. And then if you let this preheat, these are gonna cook super fast. It seems it to take a long time, but it's really not. Watch this. Boom. Already cooking. Ain't nothing to it. Just get in here and scramble them a little bit. Look at that. Or call that one good. Just take it over to your burrito and put it right here. Oh, it's gonna be a chunky boy. Now that's how you fill a burrito right there, man. Look at all that protein. And our final burrito, eggs are done. I'm telling you, that really doesn't take that long, man. It'd be faster if you cooked all your eggs at once, but if you're trying to be like meticulous, it ain't that bad. We are off to a good start with these burritos. We got all seven days with a breakfast right here, but we're not done yet, man. We got some more stuff to add. Let's move on. Now it wouldn't be breakfast without bacon, right? For this, we are using Canadian bacon. Nice, smoky flavor, super lean. Tastes an awful lot like ham, and by God, it's gonna be delicious. Let's fry some up. Each of our burritos gets three slices. The thing about Canadian bacon is it's already been cooked, so if you don't even wanna cook this, you don't have to, but I like mine. Cook for about a minute, get a little crispy. I think it's gonna bring out a lot of flavor, so I got them all split into seven three-piece piles, and we are gonna get to cooking. Let's roll. And then once they're done, like I said, this doesn't take a lot of time. See, look at that color now, man. That's gonna be way better because of that. A little extra step, man. Don't be afraid of the extra steps. Two and three. Ooh, hold on, let's flip you over. I think you look prettier. Like that, I was right. But guys, guys, are you seeing the same thing I am? Now you are. That is majestic. And our last bit of Canadian bacon is done. And you got, you should smell it in here, guys. These smells would make Tom Cruise blush. And Bingo. And I know what you're thinking. Rem, these look amazing, but they're missing, I don't know, something. Something's gone. Kinda like how a home isn't the same without a mother's love. These will not be the same without cheese, ladies and gentlemen. We are using mozzarella fat-free cheese. In my opinion, eggs and mozzarella go together like acne and Xbox. The perfect pair. We're using fat-free cheese because it's gonna save us a lot of calories and give us some extra protein, which is what we want, baby. Let's go. Best way to do your cheese when you're weighing it out. Dump it all in a bowl, set the scale to zero and then as you pull out look at the negative numbers each one gets negative 56 that handful right there is negative 50 put you right on top pinch six drop a little money Whoa. 
Wow, man, look at this. I cannot wait to try one of these. These are basically done. All that's left is folding, but what I am gonna do is add a little bit of sauce. You can do whatever, you don't gotta add that sauce, but I'm gonna add just a little bit of sauce. If you don't like spicy, I would not recommend this stuff. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of sriracha, not too much, just a little tiny drizzle. Just a little line right down the middle. Gonna add a nice little kick of flavor to these. Boom, without being too overpowering. But it's gonna do something. It's gonna do something for them. Boom, boom, okay. Let's get to folding. So for wrapping, we go ahead and place the burrito on an aluminum foil sheet. These are gonna be a little tricky because these are actually really full and I didn't think that through. But hey man, the kitchen is about improvisation. Kinda make everything a pile in the middle. Kinda move it in, fold the tops down. I'm gonna take this, move some of this back as far over as we we can get it. Go. All right. And then roll it the rest of the way. And aha. And bingo. That is a C plus rolled burrito right there. When they're that full, man, you got to do what you got to do. And then we're going to fold over with this. Bingo. There you go, man. Done. And that is seven days worth of breakfast right there. But just so we know which burrito is which, because we're going to be making more, we're going to mark all of these. Bad idea. Better idea. Put the pen so we know. So we'll put a B on all of these so we know it's our breakfast one. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And there we go. Now that we got them labeled, we will stick them in our freezer and boom. Now that they're in there, they will freeze and then you can either throw them in the oven if you're at home. I think they'll probably taste a little bit better that way, like 15, 20 minutes on 350. Or even if they're frozen, you just microwave them for like three to four minutes and they will be just fine. But it wouldn't be a Remy J cooking video if I didn't eat one right now. So I'm gonna pull one out and I'm gonna microwave it to get it the same exact consistency it would be if you did it yourself and we'll see how she is. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, that is steaming. Oh, that is smelling good. Take a look at that. Now, obviously, if you don't know any better, you don't microwave things in foil. So if you're gonna microwave it, take it out of the foil. If you throw it in the oven, you can leave it in the foil. All right, I'm gonna get a nice, juicy bite here with this fork. Oh, ooh, can you see that? Can you see that? That cheese has melted. Canadian bacon, the egg. All right, guys, without further ado, let's give her a go. Three, two, one. Mmm. The best part of these videos is the eating of the food. Oh, look at that. Got a cheese pull. We got a cheese pull. See, basic, easy to make. Anybody can make this for real. Mm. Hopefully you guys can see that. Though it's a little tough sometimes with this autofocus, but wow, that's really good. At this point, you can cover it in some sauce and then just go to town, man. Woo. Give her another big bite. We got some sriracha in this one. Oh yeah. Mm. I could eat that every day for a week for meal one. Easy, easy. In this burrito right here, we have 565 calories. That is 16 grams of fat. We have 60 grams of protein and 39 grams of carbs. Not too shabby, man. 60 grams of protein in a breakfast burrito. Carbs are right in the middle. Fat's pretty low. Ooh, it's a winner in my book. I'm gonna eat this and I will see you guys at the lunch burrito. Boom. For the lunch burrito, we are gonna need a big pile of chicken. Already went ahead, took standard chicken breasts, cut them up into little tiny bite-sized pieces. We're gonna weigh them out to eight ounces a piece and fry them for each burrito. And you might be able to see my makeshift splint here. Cut myself with a knife and I have no Band-Aid. If this was an RPG, I put zero points in the medical skill. Same thing as last time, we got the exact same tortillas. We're gonna go in and lay out seven of them. Six, seven. Take my pile of chicken and I'm gonna weigh out 224 grams or eight ounces for each burrito. Like I said earlier, you don't gotta do this, but I, I, I said I'd quit saying that. Let's cook. Make sure your pan's preheated, hit it with some spray. If you do this right, each serving of chicken should cook in about four to five minutes. And then after a few minutes, you are good to go. The key is all in preheating your pans, man. Get that nice seared outside, that golden brown, but the middle stays nice and juicy and tender and your chicken isn't all dry and gross. That's the secret, man, it's the preheating. Don't put it in there and then warm the pan up. One down, let's finish the rest. And before you know it, we are completely done prepping our chicken. And that's by far the hardest part. Oh, ain't that gorgeous. Mm. Now that that's done, each one of these, once again, is gonna get two ounces or 56 grams of fat-free cheese. This time we're doing cheddar though. Because cheddar and chicken go together, like PC gaming and clinical depression. Let's cheese it up. And let's get to work. Boom, sprinkle it right on there. Bam, perfect. Every one of these burritos has cheese on it now. We are going to throw in the final secret ingredient. I'm telling you, don't sleep on this. This is all 
the seasoning you need. Sweet and spicy G Hughes. Hopefully that focuses. You guys can see that. Everything's better when G's on top. Go in, flatten it out a little bit. And the key here is, right, when you make these, you want that cheese to melt when you microwave it and it combines with this sauce and it just becomes otherworldly. Boom, perfect. Put it on some foil. Now hopefully this one's a little easier to wrap than the last one. Should be good. Over, up. We on to something? We on to something? Hey, not too bad. Tuck in the ends. Help if these weren't so dry, we'll say that. Hey, I'll take it. Wrap her up, boom, boom, and send her on. And once we got them all wrapped, we're gonna go through and label them all L for lunch. Awesome. And the same as last time, man. You just throw them down in your freezer. They're gonna freeze. And then about four to five minutes in the microwave, these are gonna be good to go. Eight ounces of chicken, cheese, and barbecue sauce. Pretty simple. Like I said, anybody should be able to do this, man. This is gonna be our meals for the entire week. And talk about grab and go. The thing is, if you take it and you don't leave it in the fridge and it kind of thaws, not a big deal. Just microwave it for less. Boom. But you know, we got to eat one right now. I'll grab this guy and microwave it that way. You guys can get the same experience. And this time, we'll actually cut the thing in half. If they're fresh, you only need like two minutes. Fresh out the microwave for two minutes. Let's see what she looks like. Oh. Okay. Pray that this is focused. Oh, sweet mother baby. Do you see that? Do you see that? Look at that cheesy barbecue goodness down in there, man. That is gonna be incredible. Oh, let's give her a try. Oh gosh, I'm so ready for this. A nice cheesy bite. Oh, see that cheese pull? Can you see that bite right there? Oh, okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Mm. This doesn't feel like something I should be eating while dieting. But when you see the macros, mm. it's simple. Tortilla, which is really dry going in when you microwave it, it's almost like the juices from the chicken, the barbecue sauce, like really soften it. And that little hint of barbecue sauce. To be honest, I'm the type that could do more barbecue sauce, but I'll probably be sharing these with people if they come over, because I'm gonna have plenty of them. I don't wanna overwhelm anybody due to my preferences, you know? Oh man, Woo. Mm. These are gonna be great all week, man. Oh, so proud of myself. In this entire burrito, we have 9.5, grams of fat, 69 grams of protein, ay, and 38 grams of carbs, 510 calories for meal two, man. Simple, anybody can make this. I'm telling anybody can do this. This is not hard, not at all. And you got burritos all week long. Mm. And you may be like, Ram, well, where's the veggies at? Well, like I said, I might be sharing these with other people. I didn't want to throw veggies in here. Normally I might do like spinach, zucchini, really anything, roasted Brussels sprouts. But instead today, I'm just gonna take a scoop of greens and call her a day. Get a Gatorade Zero, take a scoop of Final Boss greens, throw it in there with some aminos, shake that thing up, chug it. You got your bases covered, baby, eating burritos all day. Mm. Ma'am, hell yeah, spot on. So this is lunch. I'm gonna see y'all at the dinner burrito. Let's go. Everybody should know the drill by now. We got seven tortillas laid out and we need a protein source. This time we're using 93.7 lean ground beef. Six ounces for each of our burritos. These are gonna be more uh, Mexican restaurant themed. I don't even know what's politically correct to say anymore, but I hope you guys get what I'm saying. Instead of going for 96.4 lean, which is normally what I use, we do 93.7s. It gives us a little bit more fat. We can make it fit into our macros and it's gonna make these taste that much better. Let's get to weighing. I love lean ground beef just because you don't gotta cut anything up, man. You just just weigh it. Boom. You want 168 grams or six ounces. Perfect. And you already know the drill. A little bit of nonstick and then slap your beef on there. Once you got her in a good spot, you should know the drill by now, man. We're stuffing beef in things. Now, the, I'm telling you, when these are done though, these are gonna have a little twist on them. These are gonna be impeccable. And the last one. Oh, this smells so good. Wish you guys were here just so you could smell it, but until then, smell it in the spirit. Is that even something people say? Boom. Now that we have our ground beef base, you know what's gonna make this 100 times better? Some white queso, man. I love this stuff and the macros, if you don't go overboard with it, aren't bad at all. How could this be any easier to open? All these muscles, you can't open that. It's the finger thing, I tell you. Oh, what the? <sighs> all right, probably cut that out. Grab a scale, we'll get to work. Each taco gets about 30 grams. Oh, that is gonna warm up so nice. Comment below, are you a white queso fan or a yellow queso fan? I'm a white queso fan, but majority of people I talk to say yellow queso. If you like yellow queso, and you probably like the browns too. Cause white queso is where it's at. And after 
you apply the queso layer, each one also gets a salsa layer, 60 grams. Keep in mind, you don't gotta be as meticulous as I am, but you know, I've already I've already preached it to you. Need I say more? Ooh, it's gonna melt so good. Would you look at that? That just looks gorgeous. And money. Now let's see if we've learned anything from rolling this whole time. Hold these right here. Take this. Oh, it might be a little messy. Hold it over. Boom, boom, boom. Get back and then up. Oh. Oh, baby, that I'm proud of. They grow up so fast. Hit all these with a D, 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 D. Can't wait to try this D. And here we are again, just loading the freezer up a burrito. Not too hard, right? I'm telling you, anybody can do this, man. We got meals for an entire week in here. High protein, low fat, lower carb. Now, per usual, we're not gonna put the last one in there. I'm gonna eat this thing right now. Let's microwave it, and I'm gonna meet you guys at the cut test, because I really liked that last time. Oh boy, this one you actually get queso leaking out the sides. Let's give her the good old cut test, man. Uh, oh, hopefully you guys can see this. Oh my God. Look at that. This is what you want, man. Tortilla almost acts like a steam bag for everything in there and it just, we gotta try that. That is just 10 out of 10 beauty with the melted queso in the back. Oh, get out of here. Let's dive head first into this. If there's one thing I love about food more than anything, it's when juices run out of it. I'm so excited for this one. You see, I don't want this to drip, but oh, I don't know. This is just a creamy, delicious. All right, we're done talking. Three, two, one. Hmm. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a work of art. This is truly a work of culinary art because it's so simple. Didn't have to do anything extra for it. You just like a few ingredients, throw them together, do your thing, and this is the end result. You don't need to be a master chef to make some really good food. That's the takeaway here. Mm. Going to game day, watching the game with the boys, bring over 10 of these in foil packs, man. Surprise everybody. I promise they're gonna love you. See, just like look at how like, oh man. Mm. The way that salsa, the queso, a little bit of extra fat from that beef all combined, work of art, work of art. I know you're one. So I'm gonna clear it up. In the final burrito of the day, we had some macros left over. So we have 22.5 grams of fat, 41.5 grams of protein, and 44 grams of carbs. And that makes this burrito 555 calories. All three burritos together are 1,630 calories with a macro total of 170 grams of protein, 48 grams of fat, and 121 grams of carbs. In order for me to hit my macros with these three burritos, all I'd have to do is add in a two scoop protein shake, most likely Optum Nutrition Gold Standard, one I've been using forever. And with that protein shake, it puts us at 1,870 calories with 218 grams of protein, 127 grams of carbs, and 50 grams of fat, guys. So if you take these three burritos, three burritos a day, add in a protein shake, you're gonna be right where my macros are. Not that that is 100% for everybody out there, but that works just fine for me. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll be right back. We survived the day with minimal casualties. The only thing, we did get a finger boo-boo, but what did we learn? We learned that you can make healthy burritos that fit your macros, have a ton of protein. You can keep the carbs relatively low and still eat good, man. I used to be the guy that never thought I could cook. And then I started trying things out. And can I cook now? Jury's still out, but I try really hard. <laughs> and I think it tastes good and other people seem to think so too. So it doesn't have to just be chicken and rice all the time. You can get creative. You can enjoy the foods you eat and you can still make results. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button, ring the notification bell. You can actually get notified when I drop new videos. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see, comment that down below as well. And I know what you're gonna ask. Which burrito did I like best? Did I like the egg burrito, the breakfast one with the Canadian bacon? Did I like the chicken, cheese, and barbecue one? Or did I like queso beef one? Hmm, they all had their merits. But I'm gonna leave that question up to you guys in the comments. Which one looked the best to you? And if you end up making it, which one did you like the best? With that, I am out of here. Thank you guys always for watching the video. Meal Plans Online Coaching, RemingtonJamesFitness.com. And if you liked my finger splint, you better let me know. <laughs> I will see y'all at the next video.